what's up you guys Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music welcome to another Thursday gear video in this video uh, we're gonna try and do some practical things for our tone and our lead guitar sound and all that and it's uh, from your request you know I've been asking you guys what you want and you were asking about stacking blues pedals so I took the two most kind of common blues pedals that aren't you know super boutique -y or super expensive and you can see them right now I've got the classic Ibanez Tube Screamer and another classic is the Boss Blues Driver BD2. I'm going to keep everything right in the same uh, neck position on the Strat, same key, same scale basically, kind of a blues minor, B minor kind of thing. So that's just the clean tone I'm working with. So what we're going to do is we're going to listen to the Ibanez. I have the drive turned up uh, about three quarters of the way, the volume to a nice little spot where, where it's louder than my clean tone. So that is one setting right off the bat, just the pedal by itself. It's a little bit louder. So in maybe a practical setting, this could be a setting where you're uh, not maybe doing your solos or your lead guitar, but it's just a little bit of a distortion boost when you want to do a nice single note line. But you don't want it to be so cranked that it's blowing everything else out. So I've got that. Then I've got the blues driver down there with the gain turned just about all the way down. And the volume, I already, you know, before I hit record on this, I found a volume that would boost that signal. So I've got a uh, one set of gain. You know, first I've got clean. Then I've got one level of, of distortion with it. Then finally, if it's time for me to rip a solo, I can use this blues driver as a, basically a blues clean boost. Clean boost off. So even though the gain is turned all the way down on the boss pedal, when you add pedals, even if it's for, for even if it's for a clean boost like I'm using right now, it adds tonal characteristics to to the, to your sound. So that's why you always want to kind of be experimenting and find tones that are right for you. Let's hear what that clean boost sounds like without the distortion, right? So. So that's the clean tone, just the clean boost. Off.
now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the pedals around and I'm going to use the boss as our primary distortion sound and I'm going to boost it with the Ibanez Tube Screamer. So since I'm already kind of familiar with these pedals, I already know I'm going to take the Ibanez and I'm going to turn the distortion all the way down on it and the level all the way up on it for the boost. So let's do that first. Drive all the way down. Level all the way up. Keep the tone right around the middle. And then I'm going to turn the level all the way down on the blues driver just to start with and turn the gain about three quarters of the way up. And we'll start to see. All right, so let's hear just the uh, tube screamer as a boost. So that is something I really like about the Tube Screamer is that distortion all the way down, level all the way up setting. When you really, I'm not cranked that loud in here, but when you really crank an amp up, uh, you know, you got the tubes on fire, that Tube Screamer will really bluesify your sound. So now what we're gonna do is we've got that clean boost. I wanna just try, without using the clean boost, find kind of a lead distortion sound with the, with the boss pedal. So I'm gonna go for that now. All right, so now the uh, the next little step here is to put them both together. Okay, so now we've heard them in both that kind of situation. Uh, now, now that they're in this line, let's switch them where the blues, the blues driver is clean again and the Ibanez is distorted, but in this signal path. So let's just hear what that sounds like. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to turn the level all the way up on the Tube Screamer, the drive all the way down, but it's first in the signal chain. Then we're going to distort it. I'm going to go halfway because this is a 
the distortion's pretty intense on the boss pedal. There it is, stacking blues pedals. Hope you uh, got something out of it. Remember, every Thursday is another gear video at Marty Music. I'd love to hear what gear you'd like to see me cover. Any aspect at all, you can leave it in the comments below. Um, and there's other really cool content that's still uh, yet to come at Marty Music, so I'm excited about that. And I'd appreciate you signing the newsletter at martymusic.com. Uh, but enough of that. Let's just uh, let's just uh, say we'll we'll see each other later. Take care. Nothing.